So for today's Blue Protocol discussion video, there's a thread that I saw and was monitoring over on Reddit, and it has since been deleted. But I want to call out the title, and I actually actually want to highlight uh, Aiden's comment here, because I do want to bring up the discussion around Un Unreal Engine 5. It's one of the systems that I was wondering if they would upgrade it to personally, especially if the game was much further from being released. But I want to give my updated thoughts on the fact that this game is still built on Unreal Engine 4. What does that mean? And to highlight this as a discussion. So if you guys haven't seen uh, the thread, it's titled, It's a shame that the developers have not upgraded to Unreal Engine 5 to invest into the future of this game. And it goes to call out Ash as a creation. And that's one of the things that I wanted to point out. Like you can't see it here, unfortunately. Uh, it has since been deleted. Um, but I think that's going to be an important part of this discussion for this video. Now, Aiden, like I said, says, uh, is it needed? You say it's a shame, but will the game significantly benefit from Unreal Engine 5 that has still hasn't worked out the kinks versus something like Unreal Engine 4, which is basically solid and to the ground at this point. Uh, also keep in mind that moving to Unreal Engine 5 could be done later. Uh, they could have downtime from development and or a larger team budget for it at that time. Please learn something about actual development overall. And I hope that Ash as a creation meets their ambitions. Uh, you're comparing a game that is years from release to Blue Protocol, which also is look slated for 2023. And so, guys, if you're new here, hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Brian. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, you're amazing. And thank you so much for coming back and checking out uh, Blue Protocol and all that it is contained within. Right now, as we wait for the future of news and obviously getting to go hands on with a the game, uh, these are discussion videos and you'll find them in the discussion playlist if you're interested in. I'm always interested in your thoughts, uh, especially about the development of this game. Let's start off with this because Ash is a creation. Unreal Engine 5, Blue Protocol, Unreal Engine 4, completely different art styles and also completely different uh, objectives and goals for the game. Personally speaking, as we were building up to this, if you guys saw my video, I was saying, I do wonder, I do kind of hope that they maybe move to Unreal Engine 5 with the assumption uh, that the game was actually much further uh, from release. If they were going to take another couple years, like if we're talking about 2025, uh, then it's like, yeah, that maybe it makes sense to upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 now go and work out all the different issues because at the end of the day, uh, they're going to be solved, especially within development and Unreal Engine 5 as it becomes more and more stable and more and more the standard. So that's essentially kind of the mindset that I was coming from, but clearly the game is coming out very soon, which is exciting to say. If the fact is, is that they're on Unreal Engine 4. I agree with what Aiden said, talking about how they can always upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 at a later date. But I think there is obviously because of Ashes and because of the hype and because of almost kind of a cult around it. And and I don't want to like be derogatory towards Ashes because I am personally looking forward to that game as well. But within game development and gamers, there are kind of competing forces, you know, the, 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 the force, the reality of development itself, and then the force of expectation. And so Ashes of Creation has done something interesting. They've announced that they're moving to Unreal Engine 5. And I still people hear people say that Ashes is much further along than and might be in 2023. But I've been setting my expectations for Ashes uh, to 2024 at a minimum 2025 uh, and most realistically based off of where they are in the development cycle and i'm going to root for them and hopefully that they're all the best in that regard so um i'm not sitting here dogging on them but being that they have done that we can start to see this expectation being set among other games hey why aren't you upgrading to unreal engine 5 ashes of creation's done it and the thing is that ashes actually has going for them is they they're not a live game they're not also a game that's coming out in the spring and that actually gives them a lot of flexibility to say a lot of things, but that check will come due at some point. At some point, if for some reason there's a big issue within the ashes of development world, <laughs> uh, you'll end up seeing that they can point and say, oh, Unreal Engine 5, it didn't have this thing and that's why this was slow. And you know, it gives them also the ability to kind of escape from some of their promises, uh, et cetera. But it also gives them some core strengths. Now, when it comes to Blue Protocol specifically, what I like about Unreal Engine 5 is some of kind of the the speed up and team programming that they have built in more to the engine itself. Now, I personally have not gotten hand on with it, but uh, for developers that I know and people that I've talked to, uh, they've stated that they, it's definitely got some really cool things. And obviously, a lot of people think on the graphics and the fidelity of the Unreal Engine 5. But when you start to look at the art style within Blue Protocol, I don't think you're going to necessarily, you know, benefit from 
all that Unreal Engine 5 has to offer. So there is a argument to be made for the future moving to uh, that platform down the road. Uh, but at the same time, being that they're so close, it just makes sense to go ahead and get the game out there because Unreal Engine 4 is a decent, a really good uh, you know, system. It is out there. And there's also other MMORPGs that are already doing Unreal Engine 5 that are going to be slated to start coming out here also in the somewhat near future. Uh, so it does give uh, testimony, documentation, lessons learned, uh, you know, idea sharing between teams and companies. And as, as game developers in game developer conferences go, um, that ends up becoming that you end up building a kind of a knowledge base. So that's going to be something that you don't need to be the first person out the gate. And I don't think they really, it, it, it doesn't benefit Blue Protocol enough to be able to go and say, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make that change now. And yeah. And so just to kind of correct myself from earlier again, uh, if the game was much further away from actually being released, maybe it would have made sense, right? But at the time is, is that we now know it's coming out spring 2023. Uh, Unreal Engine 4 is a stable platform. It doesn't hurt the game. It isn't a shame that they're still on Unreal Engine 4. It is... Uh, something that we might see them do over the course of the time, depending how the game is uh, received and how profitable and successful the game is. And then all of a sudden, if there is a much clearer advantage to upgrading to Unreal Engine 5 that all the players would benefit from. But I don't think we're going to necessarily feel that right away. However, <laughs> these games last a long time. And that's essentially kind of, I think, probably where the original poster is kind of getting at is that these games end up lasting a long time. And if the upgrade ends up being more painful than expected, you know, sometimes it, it's better to do that up front. But I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference in this case. And that's kind of my thoughts on the thread. Thanks, Aiden, for his amazing comment on the thread itself. I was enjoying reading this thread today and I wanted to sit down and give you guys my thoughts and get you guys another Blue Protocol video as we wait uh, towards December and where we're going to get update six as we wait to see whatever they have in store for us for uh, the Game Awards. Anyway, guys, if you like Blue Protocol, Blue Protocol information, news, and all that stuff, like and subscribe, all the cool stuff, because that's what you're going to get here. Uh, otherwise, just take care of yourself, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. But until then, take care.